Welcome to the Deal News Seller's Guide. Today we'll talk about five more products that would be good to sell in July. What items trended with Deal News readers in July 2020, and which products could be better to list later. Want to know what to sell in July 2021? Then let's get right to it. We're going to go over five of the most popular items with Deal News readers in July 2020, plus talk about back-to-school season this year and products that might be better to list later. One type of item that would be good to sell in July is tools. Know that small can be mighty when it comes to tools this month. Popular items among our readers last July included 1.5-inch clamps, bit holders, speed square combo kits, pocket knives, and safety glasses. Those glasses were also popular in June 2020. Like tools, certain computer accessories fall into the small but mighty category when it comes to reader appeal. Ones to consider selling in July include the following types of flash drives. USB 2.0 flash drives, 128GB USB 3.1 flash drives, and flash drives with both USB-C and traditional USB connectors. Last year, our readers also went for USB-A to USB-C cables, along with USB Wi-Fi adapters. Let's move on to the next item in our product list, and that's headphones. You could have good luck with these electronics in July 2021. Our readers gravitated toward headphones in the wireless earbud style last July. Popular features included Bluetooth technology and a charging case. We saw that many folks did go for a pair of over-ear noise-canceling headphones as well, if you prefer not to sell earbuds. Now we'll talk about kitchen supplies, which is another type of product that's worth listing in July. Kitchen items that could sell well have purposes that span from food prep to storage to being a reference guide. Products that resonated with our readers in July 2020 included pan organizers that fit up to five pans, four packs of food storage containers, sets of three cutting boards, 8-inch chef knives, and cheat sheets for using air fryers and pressure cookers. We've made it to the final item on our July list, and that's TVs. Big screen sets may not be the easiest items to sell, but your efforts could pay off come July. Should you decide to take the plunge, know that the popular TVs with our readers last July were 4K smart sets made by Samsung. They ranged in size from 58 inches to 65 inches. We've now wrapped up our list of what to sell in July, but another topic that's worth talking about is back-to-school season. Widespread shutdowns, remote learning, and other consequences of the pandemic have interfered with standard school schedules and supply needs, but the 2021-2022 school year may likely be more normal, meaning July could be a good time for sellers to ramp up their back-to-school offerings. According to Adobe's Digital Economy Index for July 2020, Work from home and distance learning boosted online purchases of school supplies in April, May, and June, a time when kids are finishing up the school year and not typically in the market for supplies. But Adobe's Marketing and Customer Insights VP John Copeland notes that July is typically the beginning of the back-to-school season, so you may want to bump up your inventory starting in July this year if you list school supplies, dorm room gear, or other related items. We'll end today's edition on a different note by talking about what not to sell in July 2021. Some items may be better sellers several months down the road based on deal new shopping trends. Here's a rundown of those products. First up are men's clothing basics, which we recommend selling in December. Items that were popular with readers last December included crew socks, t-shirt multipacks, and boxer briefs. Perhaps some people like getting socks and underwear as holiday gifts after all. Next up are automotive items, which could be good to sell in January. Readers gravitated toward parking gadgets, glass and hand cleaners, clips and fastener removers, and telescoping snow brushes during the first month of 2021. Camera and video accessories round out our list of items not to sell in July. Consider selling them in March instead. Lighting kits for video conferencing could be good to sell in March if lots of people continue to work from home. Other popular items with readers that month are camera lights, phone tripods, and webcams. That's all for this edition of the Deal News Seller's Guide. 
If you like what you heard, be sure to subscribe so you'll never miss a new one. And if you want to learn how you can turbocharge your marketplace revenue and gain access to the exclusive Deal News Traffic Network, head to advertise.dealnews.com or send an email to advertise at dealnews.com. Thanks for listening.